Hi everybody, my name is Pavel and I would like to tell you a few words about NC Labs interactive graphical application Carl the Robot. Carl uh, the Robot is an educational programming language that was created around 1981 at the Stanford University by Richard Paris and uh, since then it has been used in many countries to teach kids and beginners programming. You may ask yourself whether your time is worth investing into Carl because it's a toy programming language, right? So should you go right away to C++, Fortran, Python or Java so that you don't lose time? Uh, my opinion is that uh, learning Carl is not a loss of time at all, on the contrary. Because if you start with a uh, so-called real programming language, then your learning is obscured by many technicalities, such as how to declare variables, how to format strings, how to do some specific syntax, and none of this is present in Carl. So you can focus on the most important thing, which is how to learn to write good algorithms. This is much more difficult than uh, write uh, syntactically good code. But let me um, show you Carl in action. There are two ways of starting Carl, and one of them is to click on the programming icon and on the Carl button in it. This will launch Carl uh, with a random maze and in programming mode. And if you like, you can start programming right away. So we can write some silly program such as um, repeat three times turn, which will turn him to the right and repeat five times uh, while not wall go forward and if you get to a wall turn so let's see what Carol will do okay so this was the programming mode uh, Carol can be also run in manual mode where you can control it uh, using arrows and four uh, buttons go turn get and put there is a build mode where you can design your own maze if you like to you can erase whatever is there uh, add some walls randomly add some gems randomly or you can add gems to position if you have some special goals you know like this you can fill Carl's bag with diamonds and get him to some position and so on. Okay? And the last thing, there is a game mode which is available if you are running the programming module in a full version. In this mode you can create your own games, um, set your goals and so on. This is done here. Here you put a short description of your game and so on. And uh, you choose uh, whether the game is in programming or manual mode and in programming you choose whether you want level 1 which is basic commands without without loops and conditions and such stuff or level 2 which has the full f all features of the programming language uh, on the left you choose whether you want the game to start automatically okay so I will close this and show you the other thing you can do which is um, clone tutorial games and uh, examples for Carl. So uh, when this is your first time using NC Lab, then of course you will not have so many folders and files here, but what you can do is go to the project menu, press the clone, and this will give you a list of many displayed projects. And this list also contains all tutorial games. These are this first part, Carl Games, is in fact more advanced games, and the tutorial starts here with the 
uh, with A01 and it goes through uh, it goes uh, there are many examples through F03 all these games have solutions and you can clone any of them by uh, clicking on it and then clicking on the clone button and this will bring the game to your account you can uh, launch it and play with it and learn uh, I don't need to clone these games because they uh, are in my account already so I would like to show you how they work and let's start with a very simple one that this one is intended for kids who are like three years old and um, they are supposed to learn how to um, how to guide Carl uh, with the mouse so here the the goal is to get Carl home using those buttons so of course we could press something else but let's press two times the go button and this gets Carl home okay so we just started we just learned what the go button is doing and there is uh, another such game for the get button in this game Carl needs also to get home but he needs to collect a gem on the way so let's do it we go two steps get the gem get home okay so we are doing a good job let's go to the third game which is supposed to teach us how to use the turn button again let's get the gem and get home so we make four steps turn get and get home okay so i think that you are getting this idea uh, there are more uh, games in the manual mode and some of them are pretty uh, pretty technically complicated so such as this one where Carl has to find his way home in the maze okay I will not play this one because I would like to move to the second part of the tutorial the second part is a bridge between manual mode and programming why is it a bridge because you do programming you give commands to Carl but they are only four go turn get and put same as the four buttons you don't have loops conditions or anything like this so this is supposed to uh, uh, this is supposed to break the ice you are not afraid to do uh, to give commands in writing to the robot okay so we are here and let's start well in this case we'll just write go two times okay so let's do when maybe one more uh, example in this section Okay, so here we are asked to uh, collect those three gems and get the robot home. Okay, I know it's very simple, but imagine that, that you are five years old. So let's make one step forward, get the gem, make another step, get the gem, one more step, one more gem, and let's go home. Okay. Okay, so it works like this and let's move to uh, part three of the tutorial those are the games starting with C and here you 
you learn how to use the more, adva more advanced concepts of the language. The first of them is the repeat loop. So Carl stands 10 steps uh, from his home and he is supposed to get there, but the program must not be longer than two lines. So let's try it. Repeat 10 times, go. Okay, so it works. So you get an idea how this works. The games get gradually a little bit more complicated. So let's move to some um, to some more advanced one and maybe that will be enough uh, for this short video. So here Karel's friends are hiding and his instructions are to go forward and whenever he finds a gem, he needs to turn left, pick up the gem and continue until he finds them. Okay, so we have um, to collect 11 gems and we have actually five minutes for this, to write the program for this. So first of all, let's make him walk. So we write while not wall go I could as well uh, write while not gem or something but then I would have to repeat this if I wrote something else like while not home he might actually hit the wall I really don't want to crash it's a terrible sound okay so um, I'm going if I find a gem, I get it, I turn to the left and I believe that we are done. So let's see. This is interesting. Why is he not? Oh, it's an error. Sorry, I made an, I, I made a mistake. So if gem get. Okay. Okay, so with this I would like to conclude the video. There are more uh, tutorial examples and when you get through all of them there is a, another section of more advanced games. Some of them are real simple but some of them like the eight queens are very very tough. So um, thank you for your attention.